Hello YouTube, welcome back guys for another YouTube video. Um, in this one, we are going to be talking about probably one of, if not the biggest opportunities that I see in the crypto space right now. And this opportunity comes courtesy of a lack of understanding towards Polkadot, Dart, how it works and what it's trying to do. Because this is nothing short of a genius project that has taken a different approach at doing blockchain, which may prove to be the right one. What I want to spend this video doing is really helping people gain an understanding of Polkadot, why it's such a big deal, and why there's an opportunity right now in regards to, and this is not financial advice, investing in Polkadot and potentially its ecosystem. Again, I really do believe that Polkadot is something special. And the reason that it doesn't gain as much hype or get as many views on YouTube as some of these other cryptocurrencies is because I think one, it's newer. Um, and two, which I think is the main one, is it's not really understood. So that's what we're going to spend this video doing. We're going to be looking at a number of things like um, its ecosystem. You know, it's still a relatively new ecosystem. But one thing I think Polkadot offers that other ecosystems don't, and I don't think it fully offers it yet, is the ability to do whatever you want. Um, and we're going to sort of talk about that because for me, the crypto that is going to do... The value of a crypto, in my opinion, is the users. There's something out there called Metcalfe's Law, which dictates, and you can look at the internet as a perfect example of this, the more users, for example, an application on the internet has, the more valuable, essentially, it is. Uh, and certainly this is true in regards to social networks and a number of other things. But essentially, for, 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 for these individual blockchains, the ones that are going to win are the ones that are going to be used and adopted. And the fact that on Polkadot, you have multiple options from a building point of view to a um economic uh sort of inventive point of view you know if you want to build and deploy a smart contract in evm you can do that on polkadot if you want to do it in some of the wasm languages you can do that on polkadot you can do that with ink and you'll soon be able to do that with much much more in an in an interoperable fashion um, or if you want and you want to deploy a product that, for example, needs identity attached to it, well, Polkadot has you covered in regards to the fact that it's building up privacy, it's building up identity, it's building up smart contracts, it's building up DeFi in this interoperable manner that you will be able to harness. This is really the, the kind of uniqueness of Polkadot, its relay chain, and the fact that you are essentially building right now a microcosm of the, the crypto space at large it, it essentially becomes a one shop stop for everything if you think about the internet and i love the fact that polka dot have coined the term web3 and they have the web3 foundation we recently yesterday released a interview with bill laboon who is head of web3 education and grants where essentially um we spoke about a number of things and and being very privileged in the position that i am i have spoken to i think over 10 parachains now on the channel. And honestly, the more I look into the Polkadot ecosystem and the more I speak with these individual projects, the more I understand the vision of Polkadot. And I'm really supporting it and behind it at this point. Um, and ultimately, think that there's a massive opportunity with understanding and investing within this space before the masses pile in as it proves to be um, the right way potentially to do blockchain. Just want to point this out as well. If you look at GitHub daily activity, you will see that Polkadot is consistently the top crypto. Uh, and actually, Gavin took a, a, a role in back into the technical space, and you can see his GitHub commits have just been nonstop. Sometimes it's not, but it's always up there in comparison with other networks. There is more innovation taking place with Polkadot right now than pretty much any other crypto that i've came across because they are doing everything and they're doing it importantly in this kind of um interoperable fashion so now that i've kind of talked everybody to sleep i'm going to go ahead and minimize my face uh, and let's start understanding polkadot i thought this was a really good image this is from polkadot india conference and essentially you can see you've got polkadot in the middle here and you have these 
parachains and there'll be para threads and there'll be a lot more parachains than there currently are and there'll be para threads and then you'll have the Kusama ecosystem that will interact with it. it it's really going to explode but you can see you have all these uh, different relays that do all these amazing different things like here you have gaming you also have an economic incentive and a, a, and a kind of um uh constructive thing going on here you have banking you have smart contract partnerships you've got the kind of social media element you've got something here which i'm not sure what it is uh you've got things like carbon you know you can see really how this concept of the relay chain which is polka dot and they allow you this thing called um substrate essentially to build on top of and build your blockchain with which is a kind of basic code level um that was developed by gavin wood who also created the evm by the way so polka dot you can build evm smart contracts on polka dot you can build wasm contracts on polka dot um and you'll be able to build much more so it's going to offer a lot more inclusivity than just being an evm chain or just being uh for example a haskell chain which of course cardano has milk Media, which is doing its layer two or or you know any of the other kind of languages out there with polka dot because you have this kind of ecosystem of parachains that are all connected through something called um, xcm which is polka dot uh unit blockchains and bring an end to the era of soiled networks siloed networks sorry soiled networks would be funny with xcm polka dot enables secure cross-chain exchange of any data type unlocking new productivity and services that have been seen before and you can see this is kind of a visual of how it works. So if you wanted to deploy a blockchain and you wanted connectivity with, for example, what Kilt are doing with their identities, and I'll just go ahead and play this clip before we move on. Kilt is building digital identities for the Web3, basically. So the difference is that in Web2, there's a big company which actually owns your identity, and in Web3, you will have sovereignty over your identity. That means that you choose which data you will actually share with others and when and why. Short term, what we are doing right now is building useful applications for everybody's use, but also for corporate uses. And we are pushing those into the market. And I think long term, we hopefully will manage that these applications and together with that, the digital identities in the Web3 will get widely adopted by many, many people and many, many businesses. And this is what we're working on. Yeah, so for, that's just an example of one of the people building within the Polkadot ecosystem. So within this relay chain, you've got smart contract chains, you've got DeFi chains, you've got um, identity chains, you've got uh, security chains, you've got um, privacy chains. And essentially, because you can essentially connect with all of these, you have a massive advantage over many or most of the blockchains out there. And this is really what Polkadot bring to the table. You know, if you think about other blockchains, you know, you look at the total market cap, you've got Ethereum over here, you've got Bitcoin over here, you know, you've got Algorand over here, which is a chain I'm massively bullish on, also Cardano I'm massively bullish on. And the only way you can connect these is through a bridge, right? Which there's security issues as a result of. Algorand have got things called state proofs, which are really interesting. Uh, Cardano is looking at something called Mithril. You know, there are solutions to this where you actually maintain with these bridges the security of the underlying what uh, layer one but with polka dot it's a layer zero that has all these chains so this for example could be moonbeam which is an evm chain basically an ethereum and then you've got another chain here which is kilt which we just looked at which is privacy well now your moonbeam smart contracts have privacy uh, not privacy sorry identity which actually in a world where regulations are coming and they're coming at us very fast and and i ultimately think regulations are needed in order for mass adoption certainly in somewhere like the us maybe not in other countries but you can offer that and then you might have a DeFi chain here that you can farm with your in a regulated manner but you can do that in an evm kind of fashion or you can see how polka dot essentially takes out most other chains um in regards to the kind of uh, innovation that it brings to the table. They've said, okay, we don't just want a layer one. 
where you can essentially just have the layer one and all the smart contracts and all the dApps are basically having to fight for this block space. No, what we'll give you is your own blockchains where you can have your own mechanisms. You know, you might choose to um, go for more throughput over secure, secure it, whatever it is, um, but you can connect to everybody else. So it's like this ecosystem of chains that are all secured by DOT. And this is a massive benefit, I think, to the DOT token because it's actually needed. Its economic model is that it is the asset that secures all assets built on top of Polkadot, which is insane. Not only does it have a really good staking mechanism, you can then get liquid DOT and then go and play within the DeFi space. And it, it, you can see how fast this grows. Right now, there's a few barriers with DOT. I think the wallet models and the kind of interacting with its DeFi space are complex for most. Forgive me for saying that, I have to be honest. And also, I don't think the kind of user interfaces are perfect. Um, but you've got to remember it's still being built. But this may choose to, this may become the way that blockchain is done. And if you were going to build a project, there are many, many advantages of building with Substrate on Polkadot and having this whole ecosystem that you can connect to inherently through being a parachain. And right now there are 42 parachains, I believe. Okay, no, that, that's not. So there's 42 parachains on Polkadot alone, but 87 between Polkadot and Kusama and 194 projects yet to go live, potentially. Um, it's insane what's going on with this ecosystem and is extremely impressive. And the opportunity that I am portraying to you guys is being somebody that understands this. And I'll be totally honest, Polkadot is one of my largest positions. So maybe I have a vested interest in, in this, but do some digging for yourself because you will find that actually Polkadot and what's coming out of its ecosystem is nothing short of different and impressive. And actually, this Web3 idea makes a lot of sense. Because if you think about the internet, you've built with Rust, maybe, or one of the Wasm languages, or Inc, or Java, or whatever it is. But it doesn't matter, because you can connect to the internet broadly, right? There's no silo there. The same internet hosts all these products and gives you all these choices. Polkadot's doing the same thing, essentially. In a, in a Web3 version. And I absolutely love that about this. And Kilt was just one project that I highlighted. Um, you know, they recently partnered, I think, with one of the biggest publishers. It might be in Europe. Um, but what's going on in Polkadot is insane. And not to mention, Polkadot has actually been classified as a security, in, uh, sorry, not a security, a software in the US. It's software as far as the US is concerned. And there's been a number of lawyers that have came out and stated that. Bill Laboon also stated that he thought that was the case um, in yesterday's video. If you've not watched that, I'll leave a link to it in the description. But Polkadot is offering an opportunity like no other because it's with Polkadot, the economic reasoning for Polkadot is there, incentive. Whereas with many of these other chains, you don't really, other than maybe governance, and Polkadot have a great governance model, by the way, need the token necessarily for fees, governance, Polkadot, you need it for the whole lot. Okay, and you actually need it to secure everything, which I think is uh, nothing short of, uh, of pretty amazing. And I can honestly see um, Polkadot in, in, in years to come being like an institutional choice. You know, if they have and they can offer identity, DeFi, smart contracts, multiple different languages, all within the one ecosystem, that is exceptionally appealing for um, users, you know, and ultimately that what I think drives these cryptocurrencies in terms of value is the underlying users that use them. That is all I've got for you in this video, guys. We're going to be doing a lot more work on Polkadot. We're going to be breaking down the individual components of Polkadot, like Substrate, like the staking mechanism, you know, like everything that goes into it, the relay chain, specifically how it works, things like XCM. We've covered a lot of it, but we will re-go over it. And also, we are going to continue our crusade in regards to getting parachains on. We've spoken to lots and lots of parachains at this point and have and plan on covering um, most of you because it is just a very exciting ecosystem um, with 
more innovation coming out of it than I see in most in a very developer friendly, you know, um, exciting way. That's all I've got for you in this video, guys. If you've enjoyed the content, a like is always appreciated. So as a comment and I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching, ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next.